took a best offer of $425. Bought two bags of stuff for $1. These were in there. Sold for $125 within 12 hours of being listed. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, one of my favorite things to sell is plush. So I decided to feature some of the Bolo Buddies Facebook group members, uh, some of their bolos that were plush. So I posted this in the Facebook group. If you guys are not in the Facebook group, definitely go join it. There's a link down below in my link tree, but we are gonna talk about plush bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. This first item, bought from the Goodwill for $3.99 and accepted an offer of $85 on eBay. This is what the item looks like. It is a vintage Steiff Cappy Dangling Frog Travira Velvet, and it has the little button tag on it. So yes, Steiff is definitely a bolo. Purchased at an estate sale for $1. Vintage Gunned Bunky Bear Tan Peachy Pink Plush. And it looks like it's from the 1980s. And this is what it looks like. Just a teddy bear, $54. Are you kidding me? It's awesome. And the buyer paid shipping on that. Got these three gunned 101 Dalmatians from a local in-person auction. I bought two bags of stuff for $1. These were in there. Sold for $125 within 12 hours of being listed. Wow, that is fantastic. I don't think I've seen those before. Here's a fun one. Bought at the Goodwill bins for about a dollar. Got full asking price of $45.99 plus shipping. First time contributor, long time watcher. Thank you for all your time and effort that goes into your content. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for coming over and sharing. I appreciate that. Oh, it's a SpongeBob. I forgot to tell you what the, the plush was. Vintage Patrick Starfish, large 27-inch plush stuffed animal, SpongeBob from 2002 Nickelodeon. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Finding Fun Things. And this is her eBay store. And what is a Bolo Buddies member? That means they have joined Bolo Buddies memberships on my YouTube channel for perks at level two or higher, and they get a screenshot of their eBay store or YouTube channel like this, and then I link them down in the description of the video. So definitely check the description of the video before you go and subscribe and follow these eBay stores and YouTube channels. They have fantastic bolos. I got this Webkin's harp seal at the Goodwill bins for less than a dollar. I knew to buy it because I heard from this channel that Webkins with the code would sell. I sold it for $29.99 plus the buyer paid shipping to Alaska. I was happy with the nice profit. Yes, Webkins, some of them can go for crazy money. I actually have a video talking about Webkins that go for big bucks. Uh, they range from bread and butter to big money, but definitely look them up if you see them. Took a best offer of $425. It is a Folk Monist Disney Mickey Mouse hand puppet discontinued collector's item. And I just did a video on puppets. And this is one of the items that I talked about in the video. So if you have not seen my puppets video, definitely go check it out because some puppets go for crazy money. She did not say where she, oh, here she goes. Paid 50 at a thrift store and took a best offer of $425 at a yard sale for $1 sold on Mercari for asking price of 61 plus shipping. Just one. I included the second photo so it was easier to see without the sold banner. Oh, it's so cute. It's a Disney Aristocrats plush Barrel Berlios. Maybe that's the name of it. I have no idea, but it's so cute. Here is a Care Bear Yellow Plush Funshine Sunshine Yellow Bear. Uh, another Mercari sale. And I do have a video talking about sold prices for Build-A-Bear and how a lot of times they sell for more on Mercari. So one thing I can recommend, especially if you do plush or toys, is to get your items on other platforms because a lot of times these items are flooded on eBay and you're reaching a whole different audience on different platforms. I start my items on eBay and cross post with List Perfectly to Poshmark and Mercari 
You can check out a demo video of how List Perfectly works if you're interested in a cross-posting service. That's the one I use. I've been using it since 2019. If you watch that video and it's something you want to try, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. If you're not on Mercari and Poshmark, I also have links down below where you can join with my referral link and you'll get money to shop. Uh, $10 on Poshmark to shop and $10 to shop when you join on Mercari and then another 20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So a total of $30 over on Mercari. So those referral links are down below. If you guys use those, that helps me and it helps you and it's a win-win. So I appreciate it. He said, I bought a lot of 50 Care Bears for $30. One of my sales probably profit upwards to 500 reselling them. So, wow. 30 bucks for 50 of them. And this one alone sold for 61. So, I mean, he made his money back with one and he still has 29 or no, wait, 49 left to sell. <laughs> wow. Wow. Bought at the Goodwill for a few bucks, sold for full asking price of $38 on eBay. This was one of my first sales as a new seller and my picks were not good. My Little Pony Minty Build-A-Bear Workshop plush from 2016. There you have it. Paid 50 cents at a church rummage sale, sold for full asking price in two weeks, $179.99. It is a Prima Classic Collection Golden Retriever Dog Stuffed Plush. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, those realistic looking animals, whoo, they can be big money. I got this Disney Parks Wishables Little Mermaid Ariel plush at the bins for less than a dollar. It's only six inches, and I thought it was a TY tie at first, but it had a different look. I comped it and was surprised at how much some of the Wishables can go for. It sold for full asking price of $80 in one day. And this sold on Mercari also. I'm telling you guys, get your plush on Mercari. Uh, check it out. I have never heard of Wishables and I am definitely going to be on the lookout. Found him not too long ago after Christmas, so was on clearance. Paid 50, 50 cents, I think. Sat for a little while, but took a best offer of 50. It is a Zanny Brainy Zack. Frost Snowman Plush from 2000 with Bell, Rare Vintage Christmas Holiday. And this is what it looks like. Purchased at the Goodwill for $1.99. Sold in about three months for $139.99 plus shipping. Realistic Husky Plush made by Sterling and is 23 inches. Got at the bins for under a dollar. Sold for full asking price. It is a charming one of a kind handmade mohair artist teddy bear jointed weighted initials on foot and it sold for a hundred bucks found at the goodwill bins paid 40 cents for it by weight and took a best offer of 63 in less than a month food related plush seemed to fly out of my store on all platforms it is a disney pixar short happy boa dumpling plush stuffed food i would not think that that was food <laughs> I guess it's a dumpling. Bought at the Goodwill Bins, maybe 50 cents, was asking 85, took a best offer of 70. It is a little Snoozums nine inch puppy dog plush, stuffed animal, Nancy Cordaro, 1996. Uh, $70, and that's what it looks like. Do you guys not love plush? I mean, it's so easy to ship, it's easy to find, it's easy to list. Most of it is bread and butter, but man, sometimes they just surprise you. Cats vs. Pickles by Mr. Argyle. Purchased at the Goodwill Bins for 25 cents and sold overnight for 40 plus shipping on Mercari. This is what it looks like. It's a beanbag plush. Here's another Mercari sale. Crazy. Pokemon Center Meowtu plush. Purchased at the Goodwill Bins for 50 cents. Sold a couple weeks later at full asking price of $59. This is what it looks like. It is a Pokemon toy from 2013, Japan. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. She is a Bolo Buddies member. This is her YouTube channel and eBay store. Jellycat Jaguar. Picked up at a church rummage sale for $2. Took a best offer of $75. Wow, very cool. Again, 
Jelly Cat is a fantastic brand. I have done videos on Jelly Cat. I have also done videos on Realistic Plush. So this hits two bolo areas. Found at the Goodwill. Stop complaining about the Goodwill. Half off green tag, $4.99. Paid $2.62 with discount. Sold on eBay for full asking price of $239.99 and took about two weeks to sell. It is Kick the Cheat Plush Homestar Runner Strong Bad Working Sound 10 inches. So the sound did not even work and it sold for $239.99. So yes, Goodwill is a little crazy on some of their prices, but I will say that sometimes you can still get a fantastic big money bolo. So don't quit looking. Um, I've seen some posts on in the Facebook group of people sharing how much the Goodwill has things listed for. And sometimes it's just, they were, one person was comparing what you can buy it for on eBay and what Goodwill had it listed for. And it was way cheaper on eBay. So sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. It just depends on how much they're researching, where they're researching. Are they looking at active listings? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But what do you guys think about Goodwill prices in your area? I know in my area, it really depends on which store I'm in. There's one store, um, they're under new management and some of the prices are just, whoa. I'm like, okay, that's what it sells for on eBay. So it's not really a great store for resellers. But with that being said, every person pricing items cannot know everything and you can find good deals. Sometimes you just have to look a little bit harder. Sold for full asking price in only a couple of weeks. Bought for $2 at Savers. It is a rare vintage Russ Bunny Rabbit Bumpkins pink and white plush stuffed animal. And this is what it looks like. Paid a dollar for this at a local thrift store. Sold for full asking price with no brand or tush tag. Listed for approximately six months. It is a vintage classic teddy bear plush stuffed animal 13 inch brown tan plaid bow tie. No brand. No brand. No tush tag. Simple classic teddy bear. Did it take a long time to sell? Yes, but she sold it for $48.99 plus shipping. Wow. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty amazed by that. That's awesome. Bought at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold best, uh, I'm sorry, buy it now for $125. Disney Parks Splash Mountain Brera, Brer, B-R-E-R -E Fox. I don't know who that is. Plush Fox, 18 inches. Never heard of that one. There you go. Disney Parks. Neo Pets Meow Clops with ear tag. Purchased at a yard sale for 25 cents. Listed for 75. Sold within a week of listing on Mercari for $60. I actually bought two Neo Pets for 50 cents. The other sold for 36. Yes, Neo Pets can definitely be a bolo. Look them up if you see them. Bought at the Goodwill for $3 and sold for $40 on eBay within days of posting. It is a Webkin Signature Golden Retriever by Gans. If you see Signature on the tag, those typically go for more money. So do your research on Webkins. Some of them can be a big money bolo. And I do have a video on Webkins. I think I mentioned that earlier. Bought at a local thrift store for $1. Sold for full asking price on eBay in less than a week. It is a 1978 Paul's Garfield plush, Chinese New Year costume, Daniel and Company. And this is what it looks like. $45.50 plus shipping. I bought this 1992 Fern Gully Batty plush at a local thrift store for $1. Listed it for $75. Sold in less than a month for an offer of $54. One of my best bolos ever. And again, sold on Mercari. Vintage Fern Gully Batty Bat plush from 1992. Applause. Purchased from a thrift store for 25 cents and sold the same day for $74.95, full asking price. It is a Little Brush of Loves Brush Plush Stuffed Doll by Matchbox, 1988. Yes, that's awesome. Paid almost $4 at the Goodwill and sold for $52.99 in a week or two, a full asking price of uh, $52.99. It's a rare, hard to find jelly cat, bashful, merry day tiger. And this is what it looks like. Paid $15 at a thrift store and sold for $239.99 in two days at full asking price. Pusheen Gund 
19, I'm sorry, 2019 Deluxe Fluff Sheen Fluffy Plush Stuffed Animal. Hard to find, rare. Wow. $15 into $239.99. Found this cutie on the cart at Goodwill and I paid $2.99 for it. Plus, I'm sorry, paid $2.99, sold for $31 with an offer on Poshmark. So here's somebody selling plush on Poshmark. It is a 19, I think, 85 Tonka pound puppy with carrier. And sorry, it's really small, but this is what it looks like. This find was actually a dump, dumper? I think it's dumpster find. Goodwill throws out a lot of beanies and I save them all. Most I keep, but a few I sold and this was the best sell of, a, of them all. Sold on Mercari for $20. It is a lollipop tie beanie baby. So I'm not sure what this means. A dumpster find at the Goodwill? Can you dumpster dive at the Goodwill? I guess you can. I don't know. Maybe check. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me really nervous, but dumpster diving in general would make me nervous. Um, I think different states have different laws, and I, you know, just check your state. Be careful with that. Bought at the Goodwill bins for 43 cents and sold for full asking price of $64.95 in three hours. I think I may have underpriced it, but was my quickest sale to date. It is a vintage 1970, 1971 Animal Fair Henry Puppy Dog Stuffed Animal Plush Soft Name Tag. This is what it looks like. Got this in a plush grab bag for $6 at the Goodwill. There was none listed, but many sold around 80. And since I had the only one available, I was able to raise the price and sold for $104.93. Yes, if there are no others listed, I either say start it at an auction at a high price. So if I saw solds around 80 I pro and no none were listed, I probably would have started an auction at 80 and just seen what happened. But um, what they did was also smart. They priced it higher and it sold. So this is what it looks like. It's a Blue's Clues Rainbow Puppy Plush Stuffed Animal Toy. Bought at a local thrift store for 50 cents. There were comps for a recent sale of 65. So I put it up for auction for $64.99 as, start, as starting price and $100 buy it now. Sold for buy it now in 48 hours. So I probably priced it too low, but very happy with the return. It is a gunned. Buford plush stuffed animal puppy floppy brown dog. So yes, I I probably would have done the $64.99 and let the auction ride. I would not have had to buy it now on it, but still excellent, excellent return on a 50 cent purchase. Bought these at a thrift store for $2.49. They were together in a hanging bag. They sold in eight days for a full asking price of 50 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $60.53, and it is a Road Runner and Wiley Coyote beanbag plush Warner Brothers Looney Vintage 1999 with the original tags. Bought at St. Vincent's DePaul for $2. This is a character from Department Store in our area in South Louisiana. I have not sold it yet, but it has several comps around this price point. It's Mr. Bingle, but for this video. It has to be um, sold. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope to have more plush videos like this in the future. I have tons of plush videos on this channel where I research different brands and do category videos. So check out some of those. They will be under the playlist bolo category videos. So check those out. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new here, let me know how you found the channel. If you've been here a while, let me know how you found the channel and just post that down in the comments. Thanks so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Now, I forget what I was going to say. Oh.